Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We're taking a look at the biggest and baddest grand design that they make. This is the 2021 Grand Design Solitude Model 380 FL Front Living Room Floor Plan Fifth Wheel. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features then. We're gonna give you three things we love about this fifth wheel and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews, Towables. It's the world's only channel giving you that true and biased review about everything when it comes to travel trailers, fifth wheels, and toy haulers. And again, today I am super excited to be taking a look at the biggest and baddest Grand Design Solitude that they have to offer. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Will. Hey, hey Will, how's it going? Good. Working hard today, aren't we? Yep, I think we're pretty much wrapping up for Wrap the day, but we got a lot done. And a let me tell you, videos for you guys. Yep, because people are gonna say, Will, you've been wearing the same shirt for two weeks. <laughs> I don't wear the same shirt twice without washing it like Matt. No, Will, no, but what I'm saying is, because <laughs> we've done so many videos. Yeah. So it was just a joke, Will. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Let's begin. Model is 380FL, but the actual tip to tip length of this beast of a fifth wheel is 41 feet 5 inches. The dry weight on it is 14,654 pounds. And will the hitch weight? 30, 52, 3,052 pounds. Now, great, guys, we got those specs off our website. Always remember check the actual specs of the fifth wheel once you go see it in person because they do vary depending on how they're optioned okay but let's get started up here with this nice beautiful fiberglass front cap uh grand design they do paint that is that a windshield or no i think so yeah that's a windshield it looks awesome we have the led lights right there and let me tell you grand design came around what like six years ago will yeah relatively, sounds about right. relatively new and they just blown it out of the water with all their they products y'all so uh really excited to be showing you guys this does have the more ride pin box here very nice look you even have led strips right there underneath here it is does have the cutout so it is prepped for a generator right and i like it because it gives you plenty of storage you know and i like how you can get a generator because this is definitely a fifth wheel for full time again coming down the side here we do have propane tanks on this side and that side you can see right here landing gear it's hydraulic six point hydraulic leveling throughout the whole fifth wheel and then this is different look at this a side door yeah very unique wow not not great not, storage yeah, at all. not as much as i was expecting um and right there it's your centralized vacuum sorry no you're fine very interesting just don't bump your head yeah see see look well well look don't bump your head right out look at this look at this whoa <laughs> whoa no all right coming down the side here this is a spray port if you want to have a little bit of water just like that coming down the side here we do have these nice moride steps they are hydraulic assisted and i love that you see that yep just so easy and nice these solid steps are absolutely the best thing out there. And then check this out. Three year structural warranty on the grand design. And this says fully laminated walls and it says thump here. So be thump. Nice. So, um, oh, okay. So grand design does the side walls, rear walls in the slide out rooms. Other manufacturers aren't doing that. We do have frameless windows throughout the whole fifth wheel. You have your outside awning right there. And I like how there's a second awning right here. Very nice. Is this gonna be your patio space? You have speakers on the outside. A power plug right there. Oh, and look at these tires, Will. They're the West Lakes. I love those. <laughs> ST235-80R16. And look at that, the Moride CR underneath. See, yep. Yep. Oh, the Moride. Yeah. The Moride CRE 3000 axles. Yep. For suspension. Love that. It's a lot of Moride on this, huh? There is, yeah. Oh, right. oh, oh. Okay. 
This makes so, up for it. Right, that passenger storage sucked, but this totally makes up for it. It's hard to see, so we'll get it on the other side if you can't see yeah, very well. Yeah, we'll leave that open. Oh yeah, oh yeah, look at oh, this. Oh yeah. Oh. Holy smokes. Wow. More ride slide out tray. Would you look at that? Would you look at that? That is nice. This door is absolutely insane. You do have a receiver hitch right there in case you want to have any bikes or anything. Uh, backup camera right there. Can you tow with that hitch? It looks you know, like it because it's got the four-way um, electric. Yeah, you can, but let me tell you this. I would never do it. Matt's RV Reviews does not recommend that. No. And then we do have a ladder to get up on the roof. I don't know if I can reach this one. You need me to give you a boost up? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I do. That's something funny. All right, well, thank you for ready. Here we go. One, two, three. Oh, thank you, Will. Uh -huh. <laughs> Here we go now. <laughs> up here on the roof, you can see this is a nice one-piece TPO roof. Not one, but two air conditioning units. I love that. You have your Max Air fan covers right there. And then right there's a wine guard digital antenna. Ready? Yep. Great. And if you haven't already, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. What are the RV salesmen's going to make Will? Help him get up on the... Lift his fat ass up. Lift my fat ass up <laughs> on the roof. Show you what features roof has to offer. Nobody. Nobody. Great. Just so everybody can see, the other side of that storage. Love the same line doors. Here's the other side. Look at that. Oh, look. Yeah. More ride as well. Man. That's it. In case you can't tell... Uh cord reel yep cord reel right there and then look at this all your dump valves are enclosed and look that's where you hook it up real easy nice to get to and everything i actually really like that and we'll leave that open okay here's your 50 amp power cord here's your uh, black tank flush to help clean your black tanks and everything finishing up here's your water heater right here on the outside here's the other side of your storage nice and clean and yep lipid components leveling clean organized very nice very nice and then this is just your other propane tank well will i will say the outside of this fifth wheel was awfully impressive it sure was but the inside's gonna impress you guys even more let's go take a look And it has the WeatherTech Arctic installation. All right, wow. we'll go up front first, I guess. Very nice. Got the kitchen down here. Yep. There's going to be a lot of likes on this one. I don't know. It's going to be hard to pick my top three. Yep. 2012 they started. Okay, so eight years. Man, this is nice. Eight years and they climbed to the top. All, All right. right. Let's get started up here, Will. Cool. Right up here in the front living room area. I love this stand on up here i know i really like front living fifth wheels in general but usually when i get in them i don't like them because there's no headroom or i'm like right there or it feels very closed in right this, this is no still have about three AC. or four inches yeah no i mean problem. you might even have like four inches there yeah so in will six foot three y'all in case you were wondering so right over here we have a nice leather trifold sofa very nice oh we got the Blinds just like that. Nice balances. We have your Vanna white lights, I call them. Bing, bing. And I like how there's three windows around here. Then over here, we do have the Thomas Paine. Okay, theater seats. 
and it is electric power cup holder right here and then this is like a little laptop thing if you want to have your laptop or ipad here and i love that and what i love is that the theater seats is directly across from your television entertainment center first this is the same as on that side with the sofa trifold and then look at this entertainment center oh yeah nice big windshield yeah. fireplace right there and then look at this it's great because if you have a nice view you want to see it from the windshield whereas then when you want to have the TV you just push the button and in a few seconds you have a nice big screen TV what brand you think it's gonna be mm -hmm. TCL best of the best <laughs> <laughs> and then we got storage there a little bit of storage here and good storage there very nice same on the other side and look at this we even have dimmer lights oh nice just behind you very nice there is something in there actually in here oh, oh. radio yes oh and there's speakers oh, right yeah. here very nice very nice cool over here down here down the stairwell is your kitchen we missed area. this lift here oh what is it some secret storage secret storage right there nice cool so over here in the kitchen area we have a nice table and chairs i love the windows all the way around it you have your light right there very very nice and comfortable and and i tell you how i feel about it but i can't but i will later and then look at this if somebody's really considering purchasing one of these uh, this is kind of like a sales chart for us to let you know zero degree tested 110 degree tested that's very important a lot see look at that a lot of manufacturers focus on the zero degree tested but they don't factor in the when that it's really true. hot yeah so very nice and everything well well it's now time for the msrp burr, 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 burr. MSRP on this fifth wheel here is $101,052 MSRP. Sale price, as you guys see, we can't advertise it because it's a 2021 model year and because Grand Design doesn't let us. So we can't tell you guys the sale price. I will tell you it won't be $101,000. You know, it'll be in the five digits, not six. But no matter what the sale price is or if you shop around no matter what the best price you see on it is we can always get you a better price as general rv tell everybody what to do will they can call they can text they can email they can facetime hey 301-906-0962 that's a cell phone or matt's rv reviews at gmail.com that's my email or check out my website matt's rv reviews.com where you can get your official Matt's RV review sticker, bing! Also, there's a contact me page tab on the website where you can get in contact with either Will or myself. You contact us, we will contact our team at General RV and get you... The best price in America. Will, let's continue the video. All right. You gonna show everybody the kitchen? Sure. All right, so I like this little station over here. It's like a little coffee, coffee bar. bar. Yep. Um, that's probably supposed to be at the microwave, but yep. yeah, nice little, you know, oh, cool. And your control panels are there. I actually really like how they did that. Yep. I hate when they just like leave it out exposed. Yep. High class, high fashion. Yeah. Um, ton, I'm not going to go through it all, but tons of storage oh. as you can see. We're going to make just, you go through it all. Oh, we are? Not all of it. But just do that big one down there as well. Okay. Oh yeah. Very nice. Cool. Um, nice. RV fridge. Uh-huh. Nice big one. How many cubic foot is this one again? Uh, it looks like 12. 12. Does run off both propane and electric. Yep. Some people like that. Some people prefer the residential. I personally like that better. Um, but, you know, give or take. All right. Nice big stove and oven. We were talking about it earlier today. So yep. probably about a week and a half ago. Yep. What other brand uses this? Very. Here it is. Yep. Four burner cooktop. Nice, nice big, big 
oven. oven. Mm -hmm. And nice big microwave as well. Yep. Uh, Pantry. Yep. Oh, Very and look, nice. it's got the drawers. More Very drawers. Nice. Oh, is this one of those little pull out things? Oh, no. But that's cool for like cutting boards and whatever. Yep. And then you got a sink right here. Yep. Solid surface countertops, yeah. of course. I, and I like this. I almost feel silly to say that. Oh my gosh. Will, you know what that faucet looks like? What? It looks like it's Art Deco. No. No? Oh, no. Okay. We'll continue. <laughs> All right. And then under the sink, a little yep. bit more storage. Very nice. There's, no, I didn't get through these. Nice wow. big drawer. Nice drawers. Very nice drawers. And then behind you, half bath. Wow. Very nice. Oh, that's my cue. Hang on a second. Somebody called me. All right, here we go now. Got a little medicine cabinet right there. Little sink. I'm surprised they actually made that work. And a little bit of storage underneath here. And then. Do we need to shut the door? No, no, no. Um, yeah, shut the door, shut the door. Okay. Here's how I'm answering this. No, no, I don't like the way it feels in here. It's definitely a half bath. It's definitely for your guests. It's porcelain. I can't give it a prime pooping position. No, and it's not that. And it actually, if the, it's just. It's not, not bad. It's it, just... it really wasn't bad. Like. If 50% is the bar, it was, it was at a 49. I just felt really tight and claustrophobic in there. It's okay. <laughs> hey, trust me, the rear bathroom will be fine. Yeah, the rear bath will make up for it. And then look at this. You got storage here, and then nice. look at this cabinet. Storage there. Interesting. Cool. How they open up in different directions. Yeah. Cool. Over here in the bedroom. Lift here. Oh, you know why they did this? Why? Oops. So that if you're down here, you can open it. Oh, and it's, for, it's for the mm -hmm. kitchen. And, and then, then if you're up here, and you right. know, it's for the bedroom. Well, you're so smart. Welcome to Will's RV reviews. <laughs> Look at this, more little bit of storage there, secret storage. Um, In the bedroom, we got this right here. Okay, a little bit of storage there. The logic, very nice. More storage. We have six drawers here. Okay, nice king size bed. Nice headboard and everything. I really like that. And then is there storage underneath? Of course there There's is. There's no absence of storage in this. Nope. Fifth wheel. Not at all. Very nice. And then look at this bathroom back here. <laughs> Very nice, very big. Look at this counter. Yeah, this is nice. Solid surfaces here. The dual sink. Okay. Wow, very nice. Okay. Very nice. And then look at this shower. That's kind of weird. I, I haven't seen one. I kind of. Yeah, but like, it's kind of a good idea so the water doesn't. Correct. So, um, maybe they can't see it. One piece fiberglass shower. Will, yep. let's, can you do the toilet test? Sure. Plenty of room. Plenty of room. Yep. Plenty of it's height. a little narrow this way, but yep. if you stand like this, it's good. Yep. Fine. All right, and then right in here, it is prepped for a stackable washer dryer. I love that. And then Will, yep. to wrap it all up with the toilet test part oh, two. Yeah. Are we get, is this even worth testing? I mean, we know. Oh, yeah. Well, for what it's worth, for it not having it there, it 100% has it here. This is a prime pooping position. Ding! Well, Will, as great as this toilet is, as, as, and as great as this bathroom is, it's now time we give everybody three things we love about this, about, about the crown jewel of Grand Design. And three things we don't like about it. Will, what do we do foist? You want to do three things we dislike? I do. Okay. You ready? I think so. Turn around. 
This is gonna be a little controversial. This shower is great. I have plenty of space. Mm -hmm. But for as big as this bathroom is, mm -hmm. for as big as this fifth wheel is, it just, just if they could have put a massive shower in. Yeah, they could have. Like, this shower works, and it's a big shower. But it's not as big as what it could or should be. I mean, look at this dead space. Yeah. Right? Like they like they could have moved they could have made a wider shower, they could have made a bigger shower. And it's just the dislike that I have. I don't like how narrow that shower is for how big this bathroom is. Yeah. So that's one. Mine Two. outside. You wanna do your three first or Okay, so you have a third outside? Yeah, that's fine. Your okay, so you'll do number three on the outside. Okay. Oh, perfect. I don't really have a solution for this. I don't like how I don't like the table and chairs here. It's very it's very narrow, like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Really, actually I, I have the solution. We don't need four chairs. Mm -hmm. They should have had two fold up chairs. And then you would have had plenty of space, you didn't need all this, and it just would have been a little bit better. Well, I think there are actually two fold up chairs. Oh, are these fold up chairs? It looks like it, doesn't it? No. Look at the look at the bottom. Those are definitely fold up chairs. Oh. All right. Well, whoa. I mean, you can't. Sorry. You can't. Uh, what are you doing? Now, now I need to find a second dislike. Okay. So those are fold up chairs. They're they're actually nice fold up chairs. Well, crap. You want me to do my three on the outside? Yeah. Yeah. Do, okay. Okay. Pause. <laughs> all right. Well, you can't correct my dislike. All right. Because then it throws me all off. I don't know if there's any solution around this either. But I kind of don't like how like it's all caged in here. Really? Why? Yeah. I don't know. Just like leave it open. Who knows like what you want to put in? Interesting. What if you want to put a kayak or you know sideways or bike or something? You know what I mean? If it would fit. Like you could do a kayak from here straight along. But you can't because of this. Okay. Interesting. And you know not a big deal but. Okay. All right. Well since Will destroyed my um my number two. Here's what I'm going to say for my third dislike. Um, just again with this slide out, yeah. trying to keep it to the same path, how it's taken away from your awning space. I don't have a great solution, uh, but I am at least happy that they put the awning out over there. Mm -hmm. So, or wah, wah. here's what I'll say. Here's what I'll say. This front storage kind of fails. Okay. So that's three things we don't like. And listen, folks, I know we were kind of when you're at this price point and this level, it's hard yeah. to find three dislikes. But it doesn't matter because now the easy part. Now it's time for three things we love about this fifth wheel. Ready to go first? Sure. Okay, go ahead. Um, I'm going with up here. Again, I actually really, really like front living fifth wheels, but I kind of tend to stay away from them like when I'm looking at things that I like personally because of how narrow it usually is or short it is is what I mean to say so the headspace for sure yeah the headspace for sure and then just the whole layout here it's just very nice and you know you can make two beds I love the televator with the big front window and uh, the big fireplace and then you have storage here you know all throughout here especially down here Really good storage, really yeah. nice design. If you do have people staying, you have, you know, somewhere to put sheets and whatever. Yep, actually, we did, never even showed that oh, storage yeah. right there. Speaking of, nice. So that's one like, two. I'm going to say, I like the kitchen area. I love the style service countertop. I love the little coffee bar. I love how they give you the option of the two-way fridge, and I love this oven right here. Very nice, very great residential style, and I love that. And I mean, look at the lights right there. Very nice. So that's two. Hey, I just actually, I know we're on likes, but I got a much better dislike. Oh, talk to me. All right. Since we kind of didn't have very good like dislikes earlier, I actually personally hate it when... The second bathroom is right outside of the kitchen. Like nothing worse than somebody dropping a dookie wall. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> you're well, cooking. <laughs> tell me how you really feel. No, seriously though. I mean, okay, no, I that... get it. Like it's nice, and where 
where else would you put it? I don't know. But, right. you know, personally, like, just imagine your food sitting out, like, having a taco bar. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then somebody in the bathroom. We'll come outside. We, we need to have... We need to have a talk after this, Will. Yeah. <laughs> Great, so that's number two. And then number three, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I, I know you don't like the caging. Yeah. But I absolutely love this outside storage. Yeah. And I'm gonna combo it with the inside storage. Just the storage on this fifth wheel is big, massive, awesome. And it is just a great fifth wheel to be full time in it. Well, Will, and I like slam last doors. Yeah. That's it. That's the review. Thank you everybody so much for watching. If you guys have any questions about this grand design, please call us, text us, send us an email. It is mattsrvreviews at gmail.com or 301-906-0962. That's myself. Or check us out online at mattsrvreviews.com where you can get your official Matt's RV Review sticker. Bing! Also, there's a contact us page on the website. Again, you contact us, either Will or I, we will get you in contact with somebody from our team at General RV to help get you the best price in America. Well, do you have anything you want to say to America? Sure. And Canada and the whole world, actually. <laughs> Thanks for watching, as usual, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed the review. We, you know, this uh, fifth wheels are something that I'm always watching and stuff, so it's cool to to see something new always. So I haven't seen this floor plan myself before now. So, thanks for watching. Yep. Thanks for uh, thanks for watching and thanks for filming and thanks for helping me get up on the roof. You're welcome. That's it, y'all. That's it. We're wrapping up the day. Even though you're only seeing one video today, it's been a long day and we're wrapping it up. Thanks so much, Will. We'll, we'll see, see you next time. time.